Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to start a brand new painting together. Now, last time you guys voted to do a nice little winter landscape, which makes sense for about the time we're in right now. So we're going to go ahead and start that today. And of course, at the end of this video, there'll be some voting. That way you can tell me what kind of a composition you'd like to see us move forward with. All right, let's get started. We'll start off today here with our two inch brush and some white, just a little bit of white and some red and some yellow. Now, my palette is very dirty because I was actually just, just got done painting the, the big one. <laughs> and so you'll see what we were doing with that one in a, in a couple days. All right, so I'm tinting now, just tinting our canvas here at the horizon. Now I put a little white medium mixed made out of a little bit of clear gel and white. It makes a nice little, well, it's a nice soft paint that moves, but it also feels a bit sticky, which is, which is good. You don't want your, you know, traditional, very slippery mediums on here because I feel like, at least, you know, in my opinion, it seems to make it much more difficult. So that's the reason, you know, the reason I like the clear gel and white mix. All right, now I'm mixing some blue and red together and I'll throw some black into that. Even if you're viewing this after the voting's closed, it's kind of fun to, to look through, to look through the videos and, kind of see how a painting is created. You know, the structure, the idea behind, you know, how you get from, from a blank canvas to the finished, to the finished thing. There. All right, so now I'm gonna just blend these together. <laughs> there we go. Now we'll take a little bit of white and just some pink, a little, a little of our red and, and yellow. That makes a beautiful pink. And I'm gonna come over here, and just begin to very softly drop in some clouds. You'll notice that I haven't loaded much paint into the brush. What that does is gives us, you know, what otherwise might be a, a frustrating effect to, to see up here, but I actually want it. It's, a, it's not really muddy, but you know what I mean? It's not bright. It's not bright. So, and I get this question all the time, you know, about having muddy clouds or clouds that just don't show up very bright. Well, okay, a lot of the time we do want them to show up bright, but every once in a while, you kind of want those softer clouds, and that's what we're doing here, and I'll show you why. And I want them, for the most part, probably low hanging. That's just my thought, at least. I, I kind of have a kind of an idea, because this is a dusk. You know, I, I think this is either very early morning, probably dusk. You know, just before the sunset really starts. At least around here, I know that you can see just not all the time, but every once in a while, you can see just a few stars in the sky. So I'm gonna throw them up there and. And I think they'll look good. I can always, you know, kind of paint over them if we don't like them, but let's see what they look like. Now, obviously I'm just putting in the whole sky and then you guys are gonna have to tell me what's gonna go in here. I did tint the canvas down here as well with a little of the sky color. It's not water, it's just, you know, something to, just a, an underpainting, a shadow for snow or whatever else needs to go in there. Maybe you guys want a cabin or, you know, a, a forest, trees, lake, mountain, I don't know. Whatever, you'll tell me. <laughs> there we go, I'll have a whole bunch of, well, maybe not a whole bunch, but a few different options for you guys so that, you know, we have a, a nice variety. Right, now I'm gonna take just a minute or two to drop in what feels like a little star up here. So I've got my little detail round and some dirty white here, just white tinted with whatever. And I've got my clouds and I don't, don't wanna go over the clouds for obvious reasons. <laughs> there we go. Yes. I'm not going to go crazy with the amount, with the number of these stars. I'm just going to go a few here and there and then especially let the, the brush run out of paint as you go down. You don't want, you don't want many. You really don't. There. Okay. I don't even know. Maybe these are a little too distinct. I might actually just sort of, well, definitely I won't do anything until I stand back. You know the rule. You got to look back from six feet before you make any good choices. Okay. Maybe take a, a big brush here. Actually, this is, why would we do that when we have our blender brush? <laughs> Yikes. All right, let me just take these and I'm just gonna touch them and see what that does, kind of feather them. This blender brush is great. If you haven't tried one, now is the time. Definitely go to the website and check this thing out. There, it's just so nice. It makes such a beautiful, soft effect. I'm gonna step back and then I'll come back and either add more to them or take away from them. We'll see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load up our detail round with a soft peach color. This time I have a little more paint in the brush and a little more white. And I think I wanna add just a couple of last little, 
last little highlights to these clouds. And I think just for fun, let's pick the light source coming across this way. Now, I really don't have a great context for that, but just the way the clouds line up seems like it'd be better. Obviously, if you guys choose something that, you know, would look better with the light source changed, of course I'll do that. But for now, this is just something, you know, we gotta pick, gotta pick a direction. There. Mmm. Pretty. Oh, wow. Love this brush. Love this brush. Even on that big painting, this brush has been so incredibly useful. There. Good, good, good. All right, maybe right over here. It just helps to make the clouds pop a little, create a little more depth in the sky than we had. There. Mm. So pretty. Okay, what do you think? Maybe just, I wipe off my brush, maybe just another, you know, a little, little bit right in there. You don't want them to look weird, you just want a little bit. All right. That just that gives that feeling of I don't know a little a little extra light sort of bouncing through here. I think that'll be pretty with whatever landscape we, we stick around it. Mm. All right. <laughs> so fun. Be sure to to share this video, like, subscribe, all, all that good stuff <laughs> because that really lets me know that you're enjoying it and we're doing the right thing here. Well, now it's your turn to vote. So the first option that we have is a very large and up, you know, kind of close up road with some very beautiful large trees, almost like a forest. And that could be interesting, although we would lose a lot of the sky. Or we could do a vast mountain scene with a very narrow, small winding river. Probably put a lot of emphasis on the mountain and then the river taking kind of the second position there. Or we could do something totally different a large fence, and that fence would be kind of in the foreground and on a ridge line, and we're gonna be looking down into the valley. It's one of those, you know, perspectives. We'll lose a lot of the sky, but it might be worth it. Or last, we could do a beautiful farm scene, and I just have one building pictured here, but you may wanna add more buildings or other things to go in the farm, just a beautiful farm at winter. All right, well, that's about as far as we can go until I hear from you. So go ahead and go to the website and vote for how you'd like to see this painting continue. Thanks for watching.